Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with another Plan With Me video. If you haven't seen last week's video, I'll make sure to put it in the description below for you to check out. We did some like abstract kind of like drawing <laughs> with the Disney walls. It was a lot of fun. I stepped out of my comfort zone and you know, we're just gonna do something different. That was last week. We don't have to think about it anymore. <laughs> I think I want to do something like a line art of like the Disney mountains. I hope it turns out well. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I will post on my next video and so you guys can plan with me. Before I jump into the video, I also want to say thank you to my friend Jen. She sent me a gift in the mail today and just, I just got to show you guys. Look at it. Look at that. It's a giant wooden name tag. Oh my gosh. So basically my friend Jen saw this person on Instagram doing like a giveaway for like wooden customer name tag signs. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but she sent me one anyways because she knew how much I wanted. I just didn't think it was gonna be this big. No, this is really awesome. And yeah, it definitely fits this month's theme. So I'm gonna get into some real Disney clothes and BRB. <gasps> Sorry, I just wanted to have fun with this video. So I'm wearing my Pandora shirt. It was really cool. I got this back in, when did I get it back in? July, I got it in July. I got it in July, I think. I don't remember. I went to Florida so many times recently. And then I'm also wearing, oop. Yeah, I didn't take off the tag on this one. These are ears from Tokyo Disneyland. Same friend, Jen, that got me this wooden sign over here. She also got me these ears when she went to Tokyo. So thank you, Jen. This churro hat, which looks like an Adidas logo. Love that is from Great Adventure Supply Co. I have a bunch of cool hats and pins and other stuff like that. So I'll make sure to leave their information down below. You guys should really check out their stuff. Hashtag not sponsored, but love them anyways. <laughs> but all right, let's get into the video. So I know line drawing sounds pretty self-explanatory, but this specific kind of line drawing is like where you do one continuous line. So with that inspiration, I want to kind of emulate that. Um, I also wanted to make note that Yes, like these are Disney mountains, but it includes mountains of rides that you don't technically, I guess, venture to the mountain for. Like for example, in the top middle, I drew the floating mountains of Pandora. Now, you don't technically ride it kind of like when you go through Big Thunder Mountain or when you ride through Matterhorn Mountain, as well as Space Mountain, you know, like I just wanted to kind of get a general idea of like these kind of mountains that Disney has made. So as you can see, I first started by sketching everything out and I would probably recommend to draw it how it should look from the get-go. And then when you go to line it with the black pen to then follow with the one line. I think I was so focused on all of the little like scratch marks that I did with my pencil that I ended up overdoing some of the lines. And it looked a little too messy compared to the inspiration art that I put at the beginning of the video. But overall, I think it looked pretty good. Um, I think the Grizzly Peak one was probably my hardest one. That's why I did it last, because I didn't know how to do it. My favorite one is Matterhorn Mountain. I think because it just has like that pyramidal kind of shape, it just was kind of easy to you know, draw. So after erasing everything, I started doing the rest of the planner. And I think because I wanted to do this like mountaineer, like explorer kind of theme, I went with like browns and beiges. And again, yes, like, these aren't mountains that you would technically hike, but I kind of wanted to go for that adventure aspect. So I made all the title boxes in the dark brown and then I ended up putting washi tape over it just so it can write on it in Sharpie. And then for the bottom part, I used that beige tan kind of color. So it kind of looked like I was writing on like dirty paper or just like whatever like scrap paper that I had. And to keep in with the theme too, I also wrote packing list and expenses instead of like to-do list and financing. And then below the calendar that I wrote at the top corner, I wrote down all of the mountains that I conquered. I technically haven't been to Typhoon Lagoon. I don't know, I don't feel like going to a water park in Florida, but a lot of people say there's a big debate between Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach. So you guys should let me know which one I should go to. At the top, instead of writing the dates, I just ended up writing like day 19, day 20, day 21, just to keep that log style, like what an explorer would normally do. And then I ended up boxing all of my tasks that I have for next week. And then at the bottom, I ended up writing, you know, that cheesy quote you see that says the mountains are calling. So that's the final look.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, just make sure you subscribe below. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. So I hope you guys appreciate this new setup. Um, don't really have too many options for a flat lay, but I <laughs> duct taped my phone to my lamp to give you guys this abuse. So I hope the effort pays off. Yeah, yeah, hit the like button. Thank you.